Hello, my name is Dale Carroll. I'm one of the librarians here at the Centralia College Kirk Library. Today's session, I will be discussing evaluating websites. If you have any information and need to contact me, my email address is dcarroll at centralia.edu. The objectives today is to help you determine if a web page is credible, reliable, and supportive to your research topic. Um, when you are searching information in scholarly journals or books, the information in these formats has, uh, has been evaluated by committees. However, the web is an unregulated environment and it has mass amounts of information from all over the world. Uh, since there are no um, editorial guidelines, it is up to you to evaluate your resources. Through the skills you learn today, you'll be using critical thinking to develop skills in order to evaluate what you find. Um, that's where the CRAP test comes in. It's a great acronym. Um, I love this because it's, it's easy to remember. What, what was she talking about? Was Oh, that's right, CRAP test. The C-R-A-P test. Um, stands for Currency, Reliability, Authority, and Point of View. We're going to cover each one of these today. Um, under currency is you want to determine how um, recent is the information on this website. There's ways to determine that by one real easy one is generally if you go to the bottom of the page there'll be um, a date on how current the web page has been updated. Other ways of telling is if there are a lot of dead links that's going to be a good indication that someone isn't keeping up on this web page. Also, how recent is the information, um, clicking on the information, reading the information, if it's way out of date, that's a good indication. You know, there is so much information out there, just move on. There's, I mean, you'll find other links. Um, under the reliability, what you need to do is what kind of information is included in the resource. Are, is the content resource prim primarily opinionated? Is it one-sided? Depending on the information you're looking for, you may want just a one-sided information. Um, but if you're depending on the information, you really need to see, is it balanced? Does the creator provide references or sources for data or quotations? If somebody is, get, is, is quoting information and not telling you where the information is coming from, move on. Um, so it's really important to just start critically thinking and going, okay, is this information really reliable? And a great um, web page to look at is that I have a link on the bottom, which is http colon slash slash www.martinlutherking.org. I suggest that you um, try out the web page. It, it's, it's quite an eye opener because it really, you th at first glance, it looks very reliable, but then when you start using these, start using the crap test on it, you'll quickly learn how easy and deceiving um, pages can be. Now, another way of checking for reliability is what um, type of domain does the information come from? When you're looking on an URL, there's .mil, .edu, .org, depending on the information you're looking for, but um, this helps you if you don't want, if you're looking for a lot of information and it's a lot of .org um, from nonprofit organizations, probably wouldn't be using that information. Um, in, for a research paper. Now another way when you're searching you can, and I've tried this on various search engines, is where you can limit your domain. So um, when you type in, for example, if you wanted just to find information for educational sites, let's say on Google, you would type in site colon dot edu and then in quotes um, I want global warming, but just on educational sites. But you can um, choose any domain that you want. Let's say you wanted it just on government. Well, instead, it would be site colon dot gov quotes global warming or whatever information you're looking for. It's nice because then you're not going to get thousands of hits. 
Now the A in um, the CRAP test is authority and it's important to find out who is the creator or author of the site. What are their credentials? If, the, if you can find the author of the site, um, one of the things is don't go looking at the information. They're going to give you a link to them. A lot of um, authors can give a link to themselves and not saying that that's not a good site but also go and check out the author um, in different ways like go to Google or um, other sites to check out who this author is. Look them up. Um, what are their credentials? You can go at the bottom of the page. Um, also it'll be about us, about me, about the sore, about the people putting the web page on click on those they'll tell you about them and then you can further do more information about um, the publishers of the site. P in the crap test is point of view um, is the information factor fiction is it biased um, you want to know I mean is it a commercial um, site if it is um, move on that's someone trying to sell you who is the intended audience so in conclusion, really what you need to do is you need to take time and check out the information. Don't believe anything. You don't go just believing anything. This is um, the source here. It's quick. It says it has the information in here. I'm going to take this and as reliable. Um, you have to go deeper. You have to dig deeper. Go into a little bit farther into your web page. Um, so remember, use the crap test, currency, reliability, authority, and point of view. Um, if you have any questions on the College Library's web pages, we have 24-7. Um, it is a link that you can have access to, to a librarian 24-7. Also, my email address is dcarroll at centralia.edu.